Well, hello there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Old Timer Center video. Very special car for you this morning. You probably already know what it is, but in case you don't, it's a 2003 Mercedes-Benz SL500. This was Mercedes' flagship GT car. As you can tell, it is a convertible, but it is also a hard top. So you have that Vario folding hard top. So you can leave it outside and you don't have any sort of security issues or concerns to worry about. The black paint is in excellent shape. It's got the AMG wheels. It's got the navigation pack. It's got the wood grain steering wheel. And it's got one of my very favorite big ticket items on Mercs. It's the heated and the ventilated seats, so you can toast or chill your derriere at your leisure. I'll give you a full once around here. I've got the rear Parktronic and the front as well. It is quite a long hood to house that beautiful V8, so the parking sensors come in handy. The grey leather's in fantastic shape. And you have these wonderful partial shelves back here to simply access. You push this little button down and the seats will fold forward and allow you access to these uh, generous little mat pockets. As then obviously you've got your CD stacker there. On the other side it's completely empty. And if you'll notice these vents on the back of the seats, those are for the air intake so it can blow um, that ventilated air onto your back and just fold it back with a touch of a button and it will go to its last remembered setting. Obviously we have front left passenger power memory seats as well with the heating and cooling too. First aid kit's nicely stowed away under the seat. Mercedes-Benz floor mats as well. Following around we've got those signature SL side vents. It's a bit of a throwback to the 300 SL of the 50s. And that's your once around. The car's stunning. It's clearly been garage kept. And it's only done a very low 45,000 and some change. With full Mercedes service books too. I'll fire it up now so you can hear that wonderful Mercedes V8. And we'll go over some of the features. Yes, 45,766 original documented kilometers. Got that beautiful wood grain multimedia wheel as well. So firing her up, all the lights clear, obviously, except for my seatbelt light, which I'm uh, not gonna put on. And let's give it a bit of a bit of a boot for you. Very, very nice. We've got the command navigation unit as well, dual zone climate control. So this will do your FM. You can pair your telephone as well with a little Mercedes adapter. And your map that'll take us to where we are, 101 to 103 Illawarra Road, Marrickville. Icy cold air conditioning as well. Down here are all your little techno wizardry gadgets, so you can put the car in comfort or sport, depending on how you're feeling. Here we've got ABC Sport, which will firm up the shocks, can raise the car two stages as well, to say clear a speed bump or a cattle grid if you're taking it on a bit of a road trip. And here we have the controls for the Vario roof, which I will put up now for you. But first, I'd just like to raise the uh, the safety bar. If you want that up when driving, you can have it. It will pop up automatically in the event of an accident. And you can lower it too. Now I'm going to raise the roof. And it's very quick, painless. And as I mentioned before, it's hard top too. Up she comes. That's all you have to do. No clips or anything. 
and the windows come up for you as well. Sitting inside now, it's very quiet. It's fully insulated being a hard top. And uh, I think I'd like to chill my seat. So again, you can scroll through some of the features here too on the steering wheel. All your pairing hoo-ha. And you can actually turn the car off by pressing this button here. And I don't have the master key on me, forgive me. <clears throat> I'm going to pop the bonnet for you so we can see what's underneath. And if you have a look when you close that, the windows will pop up. You've got to hit lock. Under the hood, that Mercedes V8, it's superb, it's gutsy, and it's very fast. It's not that bad on fuel either, considering the kind of performance you have at your disposal. Taking a look at these headlights, you can see that there's not even a hint of crazing or oxidization. Beautifully clear. We've got those AMG wheels. They are staggered, so I imagine that the rears are slightly wider than the fronts. Let's have a look. So we're wearing 25540 ZR18s on the front. And on the rear here, we are wearing to 8535 ZR18s, and they are a continental tyre all around in great shape. As you can see, I didn't quite press the boot down enough, so I'm just going to do that now. Before I forget, There we go, finished. Now it's nice and flush. These cars were very expensive when new. We're talking well into the 200,000s. And now they can be picked up for a very affordable amount of money. Mercedes SL always commands respect, attention, and it'll always have a resale value. Once they hit bottom, they start going up again, and bottom's still a very impressive figure. It's something you can pass down. It's something that will last a very long time. And it's more of an investment. There's always a market for them, especially well-kept ones with low miles like this. We are the Old Timer Center www.old.com.au We'd love to hear from you, have a chat about the car, ask us any questions. All our contact details are on this website. Thanks for watching.